Welcome to Electra Online. Well, how do we send a spacecraft to Mars? They've been doing that since the early 1960s, and of course, the engineers figured out how to do that. But let's think about it. So, we have Earth's orbit, which has a radius of about 150 million kilometers, and then we have Mars's orbit, well, that is about one and a half times as large. The average orbit of Mars is about one and a half times, about 228 million kilometers, that of the Earth. But um, it's also very elliptical. In other words, the eccentricity of Mars is quite high. It has the highest eccentricity of all the planets except for Mercury. And notice that at some point, Mars is very close to the Earth, and other points, Mars is very far away from the Earth. And of course, that changes depending upon where Mars and Earth is in their orbits. But about every little bit over two years, about two years and one month, two years and two months, Mars will be at opposition when Mars is very close to the Earth. And of course, when that happens, that's a good opportunity to make it to Mars since Mars is closer. But we don't travel directly to Mars from the Earth. Now, of course, Earth will be moving around its orbit a lot faster than Mars. For example, when Earth is over here and Mars is over here, then if a spacecraft is sent from Earth to Mars, well, the spacecraft will arrive over here when Mars is there. But notice what we have on the drawing here. We're shooting the spacecraft off away from the Earth at this point in time, rather than when the Earth is over there. Of course, what we could do is have the Earth over here, have Mars over here, and by the time the spacecraft makes it over here, Mars will caught up to it, and it will meet right there. So why don't we send the spacecraft this way? Why do we do it according to this line right here? Notice this way, it's a distance of 500 million kilometers, so that doesn't appear to make a lot of sense. Well, notice that the Earth moves quite fast around the Sun. Uh, let's see here, the orbit, um, I have some numbers up here, so let's take a look at these uh, numbers here. The orbit of Mars, it takes about 687 days, which is almost two years for Mars to make one trip around the Sun. For the Earth, of course, it's one year. The different, the distance, the average distance from the Sun for Mars is 1.524 astronomical units, so it's about 52% greater on average than for the Earth. But notice that the speed of the Earth around the Sun is 30 kilometers per second, not quite 30, but almost 30 kilometers per second, which is 107,000 kilometers per hour. And Mars moves around the Sun at 24 kilometers per second on average, because it will move faster here when it's at perihelion and slower when it's aphelion, but the average velocity is about 24 kilometers per second, which comes out to be 86,400 kilometers per hour. Now, the escape velocity of the Earth is 11 kilometers per second, or 40,000 kilometers per hour, which means that a spacecraft needs to travel at least 40,000 kilometers per hour in order to get away from the gravitational pull of the Earth. The orbital velocity around the Earth, low orbit, low uh, Earth orbit as we call it, LEO, low Earth orbit, is about 29,000 kilometers per hour, about 8 kilometers per second. So when the Earth is moving at 30 kilometers per second around the Sun, over here, notice, the Earth will be moving really fast in this direction. And if you send the spacecraft in this direction, of course, at a much slower speed because you don't have enough energy to get it going that fast, Notice what will happen. Instead of traveling straight across when the distance is small right here, the spacecraft, because the, the side wave velocity that will have, because it comes from the Earth, will cause the spacecraft to travel like this. And so that's why we have to start over here and take advantage of that velocity that the Earth already has. So what we're going to do is we're going to send it at a slight angle away from the Earth in the same direction as the Earth. So we just pick up a little bit more speed when the spacecraft uh, leaves Earth's orbit and then will eventually travel across the distance and meet Mars when Mars gets over there. So that's why we do it. The Earth travels so fast over here that if we try to go across this way, the speed of the Earth will simply, the sideways velocity that the Earth has will be the same as sideways velocity of the spacecraft and the spacecraft will be taken away from this point that you're trying to reach. So that's why you have to start over here. It turns out that we take this path not only for that reason, but it takes the least amount of energy to do so. Because notice, if we use the speed of the Earth at 107,000 kilometers per hour, notice when we're over here and the spacecraft leaves Earth's orbit, so what happens is, let me make a quick picture, let's say here's the Earth and here's Earth's orbit, like this, and we're going around the Earth 
at about uh, 29,000 kilometers per hour, about eight kilometers per second, about five miles per second, 18,000 miles per hour, if you like miles per hour. And then you want to leave Earth's orbit going in this direction. So when you come around here, then you turn on the afterburners. And instead of keeping this trajectory, the trajectory will become parabolic like this. And so because of that, as the Earth goes around the Sun like this, we'll slowly start moving away from the Earth. But you have this initial speed, since the Earth is already moving in this direction at 107,000 kilometers per hour, the spacecraft will already have that velocity, plus the additional velocity you need to get away from the orbit of the Earth, which probably you need to add about another five or 10,000 kilometers per hour, and because of that, you're now picking up speed at well over 110,000 kilometers per hour, and that speed will then be used to travel this enormous distance of 500 million kilometers. You will slowly move away from the Earth, because that extra energy you gave puts it into a parabolic path, which will reach its highest distance away from the Earth here, and then if, it, if Mars weren't there, what would happen is the spacecraft would simply start coming back down, and eventually rendezvous with the Earth again. So if Mars hadn't been there and the spacecraft comes up here, we'd simply then start falling back to the Earth and come back to this point right here. So essentially, that is the best way to, to travel to Mars. It takes the least amount of energy. So in other words, you just put yourself in a parabolic path that will take you up here, and then you fall right back down to the Earth. And you essentially could keep doing that forever, pick up a little extra speed every time you go past the Earth, and you can travel back to Mars, come back, travel back to Mars if you wanted to. But the idea, of course, is to make it to Mars in this fashion. Now, the average speed on its trajectory goes from about, well, you start out at maybe over 110,000 kilometers per hour, but notice when you get to Mars, you need to be going at about 86,000 miles per hour. You don't want to overshoot Mars by too much. You want to have about the same speed of Mars as you're catching up at the very end right there, as you rendezvous with Mars right there. So the average speed is about 95 thousand kilometers per hour which means that you can travel this 500 million kilometers in about seven months so the trip to Mars like that takes about seven months now it turns out that this situation only happens once every two years and a month two years and two months somewhere in that neighborhood so we have what we call a launch window that only occurs once every two years so this situation occurs only once every two years so whenever we send something to Mars we wait for that condition where Earth will be over here and then Mars will be over here when the spacecraft reaches it so that's the typical way where we, that we use to get to Mars it's the best way takes the least amount of energy the least amount of energy means the least amount of fuel and so therefore it's easier to get it off the ground into orbit away from the orbit and on its path to Mars and so that's how we de develop the trajectory to Mars so Mars is where it is when the Earth launches it? So Mars will be about here when, when Earth is over here and the spacecraft is launched. Earth moves faster, spacecraft will move faster than Mars, and so slowly we'll catch up to Mars. It will lose some speed because as it's going away from the Earth, of course the Earth keeps pulling on it, so the, it will lose some of the energy, but with that extra energy that it had with the Earth moving, it'll eventually get up to Mars when Mars is over here. Very interesting. Who would have thought of that? Well, some smart engineers thought of it. <laughs> or mathematicians. Or mathematicians, that's right.